A shaving soap all the way from the Netherlands, recommended by viewers, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well, we have a shaving soap here today, recommended by viewers that came all the way from the Netherlands. It's called the Gilded Hand. Now, I can attempt to pronounce the Dutch name here. I'm assuming this is De Vilgeld Hand. How did I do? Anybody out there <laughs> can tell me? I'll try it one more time. De Vilgeld Hand. Let me see if that works, but the translation in English is the gilded hand. And of course, this does evoke wealth and prestige. It has a beautiful scent that does just that. A beautiful, beautiful scent. It is a hard soap, a very, very hard soap. It's about 75 grams. Uh, in contrast, uh, Parasa will give you 150, uh, and it is softer. But um, this is a very hard soap, much like a Pré de Provence, where it's very, very hard, so it's gonna be long lasting. Now, you might see that I mangled the lid here a little bit. A quick tip, all you gotta do is break this tab and just lift the lid off. I thought you'd break the tab and then you zip this off. Uh, no, <laughs> dummy me, right? But we're gonna have a shave for it, so it comes in a nice plastic tub, all the way from the Netherlands. This was $7.95, on Amazon with about $3.95 to ship, so a little over $11. So it varies in price from about $7 to $10. They also make one that is extra fresh, but this has a beautiful scent, not overwhelming, and it really does evoke prestige, masculinity. It has that old classic barbershop type of vibe to it, but it really does uh, have that, it conveys Wealth, prestige, masculinity, refinement, elegance, all those things. That's the vibe I definitely get from this. I've shaved with it several times, and we're gonna shave it again. You can see I just, I forgot to brush away some of that remnant there, but I was in a hurry one morning. Anyhow, uh, usually I rinse that out and let it dry. The other morning, I forgot to do that. But anyhow, we're gonna have a shave with this. I'm also going to use, you know what? I'm gonna put some hot water on there right now just to soften it up because it is a hard soap. Okay, so I got some hot water on there. I'm also gonna use my Yaki 26 millimeter brush. This is um, really a nice, soft, synthetic brush. We're gonna let that soak in the water. Uh, my razor of choice is gonna be Shaver Boy Black and Brass. Solid brass handle, it has a plated steel head. Really a smooth, smooth shaver, and it is a three inch handle, so it is a short handled razor. By comparison, I can show you what it looks like uh, next to my late father's Gillette Super Speed. So you can see it's a little shorter than that. And here it is next to my Edwin Jagger short handled razor, just a little bit shorter than that. So it's in that ballpark of the short handled Edwin Jagger razors, just so you have a comparison. Um, Great travel size, great daily driver as well. Okay, my blade of choice is gonna be something I, I don't think I've used on camera before, Permasharp. These are, uh, you know what? I don't know what to expect. I haven't used them in quite some time because I don't have very many of them, but we're gonna use one of these today. I'm gonna finish it off with uh, Avon Wild Country Splash. This is brand new. Uh, it was available for a limited time. I bought it a couple weeks ago. I bought three bottles of it. I did have new old stock that I've been using, but I wanted the new stuff. And already, uh, it's no longer available. So keep going back to the page that I have linked below, directly to Avon, to see if uh, they make it available again, because some reviewers are complaining, hey, I didn't get a chance to buy it. Yeah, it sold out very, very quickly. And a little bit of the uh, Wild Country Aftershave Balm for upstairs and maybe some for the mezzanine. <laughs> I think I said uh, in the basement in a previous video or down below. No, uh, let's say not that low. Uh, the mezzanine, we'll call this the mezzanine and we'll call that upstairs, okay. <laughs> and also before I apply all that, uh, uh, my uh, shash alum block, a uh, really nice substantial solid block cut from a larger piece of alum. So that is really, really nice, and we're gonna use that. So uh, you know what? Let me let this set up a little bit, let the soap soften a little bit, let the brush soak, 
and I'll be right back to continue the shave. Hang in there with me. Okay, that's been soaking long enough, so let's go ahead and uh, wet the face and get right to the shave. I'm gonna take this right here and just dump that in there and uh, get some warm water mixed in with that soapy water there. Wet the face, here we go. You know, I've heard, I've seen comments online. I can't take credit for it. Here's my brush. I can't take credit for comments like this. I think they're rather creative, but this is a very, very easy soap to lather. It builds a really quick lather. Some have said, you just look at it and it lathers, <laughs> which I thought was, was great. So we're just gonna do a brush load here and then do a face lather. And all you have to do is just load that brush and swirl it in there. And I like to wait to see it cream up a little bit on the sides and around the edges, and I'm already there. So here we go. This soap has been around, the company has been around since 1554. And they've been making soap all those centuries. So I'm sure they know their stuff and look. <laughs> I mean, whoever said that was accurate. You look at it and it just builds a lather. That's very, very accurate. I mean, look at that. Okay. I got plenty, plenty on the brush, just from a few swirls. I mean, when I get a soap like that, my first... When I get a soap like that, my first reaction is, I'm gonna buy it again. Absolutely gonna buy this again, really. Let me just wipe my brush off, because I slipped out of my hand there. So, yeah, it's slick. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and just get some of that that's splashed onto my razor there. Okay, so we're going to undo this. Yeah, so I guess that says something about the slickness of it. It's slick soap. I think that's the first time a brush has ever slipped out of my hand on camera like that. That's why I'm keeping it in. It is very, very slick, slick soap. So we're going to open this up here. Okay, there it is. Perma sharp. All right. Blade balance and alignment is spot on with this razor. Has really nice heft. The handle is a larger diameter, so it feels great in the hand. So don't let the short length scary off. It really does feel nice in the hand. And I sometimes prefer short handle. I mean, I like short handle, I like great long handle. I like standard handle razors, like them all. We're gonna heat this up in some hot, hot water. Just run it in the sink to bring it to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. We'll let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's a smooth, smooth shave. Wow, that is nice. Wow, is that smooth. A lot of nice cushion and glide with this soap. Absolutely no tugging, no pulling, really nice. Wow, that in fact, that's been, this has been a great first pass.
A lot of razors to pick from this morning. I haven't used the Shaver Boy razor in some time, and I'm really glad I selected it now, and I'm really glad I selected that blade, uh, the Permasharp blade. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that was a nice first pass. Really very, very nice. Okay, no cream on the handle. So it'll stay in my hand, but there is a lot of slickness on this soap. Some uh, folks who have reviewed this say that it dries a little too much on their skin. I haven't had that problem at all. And I had to uh, kind of compensate for some mishaps during this video. And uh, the soap, soap was fine. There is, some have said no moisturizing quality. I'm getting moisturizing quality from it. I really am. And again, the scent is not overwhelming. It's reserved, but it is refined. And it does have that, it evokes being a gentleman, which is why, which is why I've really taken to it. I really have. It really does create that image in my head, which is why I'm doing the traditional shave. I mean, it's more of a gentlemanly pursuit than just grabbing a cartridge razor and zip, 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 and you're out the door. You know, gentlemen use a DE razor. That's kind of what my outlook on it is. Okay, so here we go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the green. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. Wow, I am good. <laughs> wow, that's nice. That's a really nice, smooth, clean shave. I'm ready for the office, no doubt about it, but I'm gonna do a third pass to show you how much lather I have in this, just from several swirls in that tub. So if you see that it's 75 grams and you're thinking that it's not going to last a long time, it will. It's the impression I get because it's such a hard soap. But at about eight bucks on Amazon plus three to ship, uh, I have no problem buying a second tub of this. This is really nice, nice soap. I'll have a link below uh, so you can get yours. And then we also have the extra fresh. I'll try to link the extra fresh. I haven't tried it. I'm thinking that the, the fragrance, the scent, will probably be a little more potent. Just a guess. That's sure. But look, look how much I have here. And then we'll just see if we can pull this off here. Look. Look how much. Look at that. I still have. Look how much I have. My gosh. Look at that. I mean, that is fantastic. That's great. That's absolutely great. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and uh, do this third pass here. This is my... Wow, a lot of lot of lather. That's amazing. Okay, so here we go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain.
As I use these three-piece razors, every once in a while, by force of habit, I just kind of grab it here and just give it a little twist to see if it's loosening up. It's not. It's it's really it's really there. It's set. It's very very uh, robustly made. It's not loosening up at all. Some of the some some I I I have yet to have that happen to a three-piece razor, but I just do it force of habit. really maneuvers well underneath the nostril to get those little bits there. And they're just completely cleaned off nicely, shaved off nicely. Third pass done, let's rinse. Wow. <laughs> Draining the sink and feeling my shave. Boy, that's a nice close shave. Great slickness, great cushion, nice protection. Boy, love this shaving soap. Really, really terrific stuff. All right, we're going to go with my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. The warm water to get rid of the extra slickness, the cold to close my pores. Here's my warm water rinse. Wow. <laughs> slickness came right off, which was nice. Didn't, do a, didn't have to do a lot of rinsing, but boy, the result is just such a close, invigorating shave. And again, I love that scent. It, it doesn't hit you over the head. It's, it's on the subtle side, but there is a refinement and an elegance to it. It really does. I mean, gilded, well, yeah, I think that's the appropriate name. It really does evoke wealth and prestige. Here's my cold water rinse. Wow, that is absolutely invigorating. Wonderful. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. That's terrific. That, that is a great close shave. I, wow, that's terrific. That's great. That really is terrific. All right, here's my Shash Alum Block. I'm gonna get some cold water. I'm gonna run this under some cold water, run it around my face. It'll, uh, it'll uh, knock down any Minor, minute cuts, microabrasions, irritation if there's any there. It really has become a daily part of my shaving routine, my post-shave routine. Uh, I think my skin has uh, benefited from its use as well. It has antiseptic qualities, that sort of thing. Okay, so here's the cold water. Okay, several zings, definitely several zings there, but uh, no stinging at all. But I got several zings, which means I got a really nice close shave. And I don't see any irritation at all, but that soap really did a nice job. The, the razor and the blade were very mild and very smooth. I dare say I was done after two passes, two passes probably would have resulted in fewer little zings from the alum block. But I wanted to show you how much lather was there on the brush, that I could do three passes, but two passes was good enough for me. Really, really terrific, terrific shave. I'm gonna let this set up, mop up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's it. Again, I say it every time, synthetic brushes are wonderful. I mean, look, that thing is, all I did was just rinse it, Shake it a few times, you know, boom, boom, shake it, and then just, you know, bump it a little bit. I don't even have to do that, really, but just, you know, maybe just get the excess water off of there. But look, I mean, it's completely, almost nearly completely dry. Amazing. Love these um, synthetic brushes. They are terrific. All right, here we go. Brand new Avon Wild Country Aftershave Splash. I'm going to get some of this on here. Love this scent. Love it. Love it. Mm. 
yeah, that really wakens things up. And uh, the alum block, because it was used previously, and you're not gonna get any burning from, uh, if you have too close of a shave, chances are you don't get any burning. Well, let me put it this way. At, when I use the alum block uh, before my aftershave, I don't get any burning from the aftershave. I just get a really nice invigorating feel. That's me. Your mileage may vary, as they say. And I'm getting kind of low on this. I got one tube left after this. So, one tube, couple tubes, something like that. We're going to use that upstairs. It's the same scent. Wonderful, only it's, it's a balm. I like to use it up here. Keeps the skin healthy up there, moisturizes it. My scalp won't get dry. That's kind of unsightly if you're a bald-headed man, so you want to take care of it. I know they have other products for uh, bald-headed men, but I tend to just do this every day with different uh, balms, and uh, you know, I'm good to go. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit more just for the mezzanine. <laughs> Same great scent. Boy, that was a great shave. This shaving soap is terrific. It really, really is. Uh, the Gilded Hand. To try one more time here. The Gilded Hand. I'm just, I don't know. If I'm not in the ballpark, please, <laughs> please don't hate me, but I'm trying. But this is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shaving soap. And yeah, I rinsed it out. Uh, in there, but it's hard soap. It's a hard soap, so you're gonna get a lot of shaves from this. And again, uh, I don't mind the size. It's a nice size, and uh, I definitely am gonna buy this again. As a matter of fact, I like the scent so much, I'm gonna try to find some of their aftershave splash and balm if they make some. Pretty sure they do, I have to double check. But boy, oh boy, this was a great suggestion. So thanks to the viewers out there who recommended this. I really enjoyed the shave with this. And, uh, you know, from a company that's been in business over 400 years, you know that they've done something right if they've been making this all that time. So this is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful shaving soap. Give it a try. Nice slickness, good cushion, a good close shave, but the scent really does evoke those uh, qualities of being a gentleman, being wealthy, having prestige, refinement, elegance, really is in there. And it's just, it doesn't overwhelm. So it doesn't hit you over the head, but you do get that flavor from, from the scent of this soap. Really, really do like it a lot. Uh, and it's, it's and along with that, it does have that classic barbershop scent uh, that some of the other soaps I've used on this channel have. So that's how it, uh, that's, that's how it impresses me. Uh, all right. Uh, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Uh, please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Uh, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rain, where you'll find all the products we review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything easily in a snap. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.